In their previous encounter, it's safe to say that Leon won that round. It was a very intense fight, but Leon handled the situation better than expected. But it ain't over yet. Let's skip ahead to the moment Leon and Claire meet Police Chief Irons. Just like in the game's storyline, the mayor's daughter is dead, and they're led to believe that zombies took her life. In the game, it's only Claire that ends up meeting Brian Irons at this location for the first time. However, in the manhua of Resident Evil 2, both Leon and Claire actually stick together throughout most of their time at the police station, and when they both meet him, he asks them, who are they? And Leon lets him know that he just became a police officer for the Raccoon City Police Department. Leon then asks, who's the woman on the desk? And he replies that it's the mayor's daughter and that he was supposed to look after her, but he failed to protect her. And soon, she'll become a zombie. And he tells them that his efforts were useless, and because of it, she'll be a zombie like the rest of them, but before she turns, he'll have to cut her head off to ensure that she doesn't attack anyone. And that that is the best method to take care of her. Or to break her neck. But Leon doesn't take his word right away, as he can tell that even though Brian's sorrow expression seems believable, his eyes seem cold rather than sad. He then looks around and notices that not everything he's saying seems to add up. Why isn't she wearing any shoes? Why is her blood still fresh? Brian Irons then tells them not to worry about him, and that he just wants to be left alone. Leon then turns around, but before leaving, he asks Brian, Chief, your right hand, can you raise it? The police chief acts as if he didn't quite hear him, and he knows that he's been caught. Leon quickly pulls out his handgun, aiming it at Brian Irons, and he tells him that he knows he's the one who killed her, and he better not move or he'll put a bullet through his head. Brian replies by turning things around and saying, What do you think you're doing? I am the police chief. As you can see, Leon has already found the custom handgun parts and added them to his handgun, and he's ready to use it against the police chief, seeing as he's very sure that the mayor's daughter was murdered by the police chief himself. Leon explains to Claire the signs that led to Brian Irons committing murder and blaming it on the zombie outbreak. He mentions that she's not wearing shoes, her blood is fresh, yet there are no signs of any recent zombie attacks in that room, her fatal injury doesn't show signs of a zombie attack, her blood is still flowing and there is no blood on the ground either. But most importantly, they just heard that her cry came from inside the room they're in. He may not want to believe it, but the chief's guilty. Brian Irons laughs at his accuser and asks out loud, What's your name, kid? Leon replies, Leon S. Kennedy. Kennedy? Ah, I remember your father. It seems you will be meeting the same fate as him. Like father, like son. Leon replies, what did you say? You know my father? They are then surrounded by a group of Umbrella soldiers and Brian tells them that they might want to lower their weapons. His men can act pretty fast. Leon tells him that he's lucky for now. And then one of the Umbrella soldiers hits Leon from behind, putting him on the ground. Claire asks them why are they doing this and another Umbrella soldier hits her on the back as well. An Umbrella Soldier informs Brian that those hunting began to pick up nearby. So Brian tells him to take Leon away and lock him in the room where he will be easily disposed of. And as for Claire, the police chief has better plans for her. And as they handcuffed Leon, he tells the police chief to leave her out of this. She's innocent. He tells her to rest assured she is a beauty and he will make sure to treat her very well. He wants her and he'll make sure she remains young. As they take Claire away, they hit Leon on the back of the head, knocking him out. They take him to the waiting room in the second floor and drop him there without keeping an eye on him. They chose not to personally kill him, as an even greater danger lurks nearby. Leon gets on his knees, and when he looks in front of him, the liquor from before is staring dead into his eyes. But like every liquor, they cannot see their victims, only hear them. So Leon tries not to shake or make any sudden movements, as this could be the end for him. He looks down, and then looks back at the liquor, and it screams as it noticed its prey in front of him. The liquor attacks Leon, and he quickly dodges his attack, and since he's handcuffed, he headbutts the liquor in the face, knocking it towards the door behind it, 
and he hit the liquor with enough force to break through the door it crashed on. The liquor prepares to strike again, but Leon rushes towards it and needs it on the face before jumping off the second floor. He is now in the main hall of the police station, and luckily he did not injure himself after leaping off the second floor. However, he is now in front of another person, and this person happens to be Ada Wong. And as soon as he notices her, she aims her gun at his direction and says, Eat this. She pulls the trigger and... That is where we end this video. Once again, Leon managed to put up a great fight against the liquor. It may have been a short fight, but there wasn't much he could have done against the liquor considering the fact that he was both handcuffed and unarmed. It was quite unfortunate that Leon had to deal with Umbrella Soldiers, that same liquor, and now Ada Wong. One thing to note about the Manhua version of Resident Evil 2 is that Brian Irons is known as a police commissioner, not the police chief. I'm not sure why this was changed. I don't really know what the difference is between a police chief and a police commissioner aside from the fact that a police chief is a sworn police officer and a police commissioner is not necessarily a police officer but rather a civilian who heads a police department. This is just some side info in case you can tell that it says police commissioner instead of police chief. But I'm sure you're more surprised to hear about Leon's father being mentioned. What did Brian Irons know about him? And what did he mean by saying that Leon would be meeting the same fate as his father? I guess we'll have to take a look at that situation another time, as well as see what happened after Ada pulled the trigger. Because as for now, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and if so, be sure to leave a like, share with others and subscribe if you haven't. I want to give a big thanks to all my Patreon supporters. I am very grateful for your support and this video is for you guys. And for those of you who haven't, be sure to check out my Patreon and if you'd like to support the channel, You'll get additional content and more just by donating at least $1. It'll help me get a new computer to continue making more videos like this one and faster content as well. You also have a chance to win prizes, so you might want to check that out. The link to my Patreon is on the description, as well as my Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr where I post all sorts of random stuff for you guys. But anyways, I'll see you on the next video, and remember to have an awesome day.